What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? Yogi Steve, ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. The video is about all sorts of high-powered scooters. I'm out here today on my eMove Roadrunner, my first generation, the smaller one. There's already a second version of this if you want the same scooter with a better seat and better tubeless tires. Don't forget to use my bonus code. Electric Scooter Academy, 50 bucks off. Okay, guys, it's just basically another one of my uh, day off videos. I'm going to show you the neighborhood. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. And I'll talk to you a little bit about the scooter that I'm on, of course. But this is what I'm genuinely doing with my time off. I don't even own a car. I don't know if you guys actually know that. I haven't owned a car for probably five years. Uh, I gave it up because I was hardly ever driving it. I mean, the truth is, the reason why I really realized I didn't drive a car was I had a girlfriend that I was living with at the time. This was probably like eight years ago. And she used to always borrow my car for the few years. And for a couple years, I barely used it. I realized that I hardly used my car. You know, she was borrowing it and it just didn't bother me. And I realized like, shit, do I even need a car? So probably five years ago, I sold my car. I never looked back. And I go really far on electric vehicles. I go much further than most people, I think. I've gone over the valley as far as Sherman Oaks. I've gone deep down to Los Angeles. I've gone as far as the airport. My friend and mechanic Ryan is in Inglewood. For those of you guys who don't know, and I've taken the scooter down there. Now those are not normal trips for people, but it's a little bit on my agenda to normalize that and make people realize like all that shit can be done. You know, especially uh, <laughs> if you're single and not worried about leaving any children behind when you die doing this. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Guys, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're actually gotta get some food and we gotta visit Brian, that's the plan. Let's see what the boulevard looks like. This is always, this is the perfect vehicle, even for like crowds, because I'm just, I'm standing on my feet. I'm like riding my feet. It's great. I'm just going like super slow, obviously. There's Discount Death Pool. Discount Spider-Man. But than that. Brian, Brian is way down here. I don't know if I'm going to go like all the way down here, but I might jump on the street. It might be just a better idea to jump on the street. Yeah. This is seriously crowded out here. Discount Freddy Krueger. God, there's so many fucking, so much action out here though. It's amazing how like there's like no security or anything stopping me from doing this, right? It's like an anarchy out here. There's like no police, that's for sure. I almost wasn't gonna record like Man's Chinese Theater and a couple of these other things, but you know, I was looking at my analytics and something like as much as 30% of my viewers from any video are brand new. So, I know a lot of you guys have already seen this, but this is Man's Chinese Theater. Definitely like a super common tourist spot. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. It is what it is. I just, you know, when you live around it for a long time and you're a local, it's really not as cool as it used to be, too. It's definitely like lost a lot of its coolness, but it is what it is. That's Man's Chinese. Now, Brian works like right over here. He's got a really cushy job. It's uh, look at all these tourists out here, all these zombies. He sells tourists to zombies. Can you believe that? I told you these zombies have lawyers, they have money, they got everything you need. Now, I don't know where he is, if he's actually gonna be right there, but we're trying to get in here without getting fucking killed. All right, all right, we did it. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm glad you're feeling better. All righty, so I will, uh, I'll talk to you soon then, okay? Oh yeah, I guess I should ask you about my scooters. It's not important. Tell you'll tell me later. Yeah, dude, yeah, you, you, you're good to go, man. All right, buddy. I'll get it up to you. Uh, no, it's no wrong. I don't need it for anything. I'm actually, I think I'm actually going to give away the storm. Oh, uh, I see Brian. I see Brian hard on the hustle. Are we running this late? I guess we're running this late. Uh, I see Brian is hard on the hustle here. The tourists are all frozen still. Look at Brian working hard. This is how he does it. He already made the sale and he's still kibitzing these people. It's funny. It's cute. Look at him. Look how good he is at it. He's a pro. Man, he's taking forever to get rid of these customers. Bro, I love seeing you make a sale. That was awesome. That was awesome. Where where are they from? No way. It's awesome. How many? 
I'm, 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 I'm no, I don't, whatever that is, I don't want it. I'm not, I'm not gonna eat it. I'm not gonna eat it. Right, Waiting to see you. Right, yeah. Be safe on that. Thing. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, guys, so we're gonna get off the sidewalk and we're gonna go to Fat Burger and we're gonna eat because it's like a cheat day. I've been eating clean for the whole week, the seven days in a row. I took like six pounds of body weight off. That's weight on the scale. You know, it's like not a true weight loss. Once I stop eating junk food, I lose weight because of like water retention. But I've been good. So on day seven, even Hashem rested, we're gonna go get Fat Burger. A huge order at Fat Burger. Bacon Burger. Oh, come on, this fucking light. I'll tell you, one thing I love about my Roadrunner is my hydraulic brakes. I'm not like a big modification guy. I can ride almost everything stock and enjoy it, but these hydraulic brakes in here were not expensive and they work really good. I had to pay somebody to install them, but you know, I get a good deal on all my work. Just every, I have all my friends who are in the business, I guess. My buddy Brian did it for me. Like, he didn't even want, oh man, we're gonna make this light. We gotta run this fucking light. Put the fucking, oh, we got 10 seconds, 10 seconds. We're still good, we're still good. Yeah, we got it, we got it. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, ha ha. Roadrunner's fast, you see, it's not, just doesn't, not torquey off the line. All right, let's, uh, we're gonna go to Fat Burger and sit down and have some junk food, basically. You'll see what I like about this scooter is I bring it, it's super small, so it's really easy to bring in. Wow. Add bacon, please. Uh, yeah, everything else is fine. And that, can I get the fat fries well done with that? And that's it for here. No drink? Well, the combo, yeah, the meal, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thanks, can I get next to ketchup? No, thank you. I love Fat Burger. The reason why Fat Burger is like better than fast food is just generally when I leave here, I don't have a stomach ache no matter how much I eat. You eat McDonald's or Burger King or Wendy's, that stuff tastes good for five minutes and then you get a stomach ache because of the shitty quality ingredients. But I think that Fat Burger uh, has better ingredients. So I'm not sure what we're doing right now. We're not gonna sit here waiting at the light like these fucking turkeys. So. I guess we'll just take a little bit of a cruise down Hollywood Boulevard. I still want to see Brian. I wanted to take some pictures of me for for thumbnails and shit. I thought he could get some cool shots of me on the boulevard out here, maybe. I love Fat Burger. The reason why Fat Burger is like better than fast food is just generally when I leave here, I don't have a stomach ache no matter how much I eat. You eat McDonald's or Burger King or Wendy's, that stuff tastes good for five minutes and then you get a stomach ache because of the shitty quality ingredients. But I think that Fat Burger uh, has better ingredients. So I'm not sure what we're doing right now. We're not gonna sit here waiting at the light like these fucking turkeys. I guess we'll just take a little bit of a cruise down Hollywood Boulevard. I still want to see Brian. I wanted to take some pictures of me for for thumbnails and shit. I thought he could get some cool shots of me on the boulevard out here, maybe. It's pretty amazing how much traffic is out here today. I mean, there's foot traffic on the boulevard and all these cars. It's pretty wild. It's a nice day, though. It is perfect, man. I'm happy. It was almost was going to rain today. There was a, like a 50% chance of rain. It could still come in a little bit. There are clouds a little further west. Uh, let's see if we can find Brian right away or if he's, if he's not out here. Let's see. Is he down here? Is that him right there? No. I don't know what happened. To, the stand was here, right? Now he's gone. All right, we'll figure it out. I'm taking us deep into zombie land looking for Brian. Let's go. I don't know where the hell he is. I thought that he was at that like spot all day working. He said he's working until four. I wanted to shoot some footage of him later actually on the Emu Cruiser since he liked it so much yesterday. I thought 
I thought I could shoot a video with him on it. See how crazy this is? This is the right scooter for this, though. It's like I'm just walking. I don't think he's down here, though. This is insane. I can't find Brian. Let's just, whoa. I can't find Brian, so let's just take a little bit of a road trip somewhere for a couple minutes. God, we gotta get out of this for sure, though. This is crazy. Normally, we'd go to Target to grab snacks, but that meal was the extent of our cheating. No snacks for us. Damn, look how busy it is out here. What the fuck? Come on. A little trip on the Roadrunner down Hollywood Boulevard, as far as we can go. That was a dumb move. Okay, fellow pioneers, I guess that is that. I got done what I needed to get done, which was have a cheat meal. Guys, I appreciate your support. Don't forget to use my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy. If you're looking at this scooter or any other eMove or Cabo product from Vora Motors, link in description. I exclusively work with Vora Motors, nobody else. A big part of this week in front of us is gonna be dedicated to the Wolf King. I have a Wolf King GT coming and I'm gonna be doing a ton of delivery episodes on that. <clears throat> But I appreciate your support. Otherwise, you don't have to use the code to help the channel. You can subscribe, you can like the video, you can leave comments, ask questions, be nice. Audi friends, that is that. Another beautiful day out here in Hollywood. We'll see you next time.